It really started just a couple years ago, but there's been a huge trend towards living healthier lifestyles, being more active, and just making better choices overall when it comes to diet, nutrition, exercise, and activity level in our country, the United States of America. And with this big craze and this big trend towards being fit, we've seen lower rates of consumption in fast food, and we've also seen higher rates of consumption in specific things. And one of those big things that I've noticed is that we have a huge increase in sparkling water consumption. And so that begs the question, is sparkling water safe? Is sparkling water okay? Does sparkling water have any health benefits? Or is sparkling water horrible for you and will it end up killing you? Find out right now. Yo, what is up, Seven Nation? It's your boy, Joey Kane, sub7fitness.com. And today, I have a really important video. I know that tons of people my age, a bunch of my friends, people who go to PLU, people who go to UW, people all across the country are drinking sparkling water at much higher rates than we've ever had before. And today, I'm gonna to be answering the question for you. Is sparkling water safe for consumption? Is it something that you should be doing? Let's get right into it now. To preface this question, let's talk about what sparkling water actually is. Sparkling water is typically zero calories because it's just water infused with carbon dioxide gas. Now carbon dioxide gas sounds really scary. It's what forces us to breathe because we need to get rid of the carbon dioxide in our lungs to replenish our oxygen supply. And it's also something that you know we think of as bad because it causes greenhouse gas emissions, stuff like that. But in our water, what it does is it makes it acidic and it adds those bubbles, that fizzy wonderfulness that we love in brands like Perrier and especially the people around me love LaCroix. So the first real effect that we kind of wonder about in terms of if carbon dioxide or uh, if sparkling water is okay for us is its effect on our dental health. Because we all want to have those pearly whites, we all want to have that beautiful smile that lights up the room. So the Journal of Oral Rehabilitation in 2001 published a study by Perry and Company, and in that they wanted to investigate the effects of acidic water or acidic soft drinks on our teeth. And what they found is bad news for anyone who drinks soda regularly. Sugary drinks that were also carbonated because of the acidity had a huge effect on eroding our enamel, which is horrible for everyone except for your dentist. Because if you're in there often, you're gonna be getting them paid. But what's super nice for us, and people like me who intermittent fast, who drink sparkling water, who enjoy Perrier and LaCroix and some other brand of sparkling water that I can't remember at the moment, is that sparkling water had zero effect on enamel erosion. Because there was no sugar, so any zero calorie sparkling water will have zero effect on eroding your teeth and it'll have no negative side effects when it comes to dental health. So the next question that this really begs us to address is, does sparkling water have a negative effect on my gastrointestinal system, my organs, my stomach, anything like that? And the answer that they found in a journal article published by Potter and Company that was conducted back in 1997 and released to the public in the Journal of Digestive Diseases and Science was no. There was no negative effect whatsoever on our gastrointestinal system, which is a really, really good news for me because I love drinking sparkling water. They actually found through this study that sparkling water has a great effect on how full or satiated we feel because the added acidity, the added bubbles, it takes up extra room in our stomach and it helps us to feel maximally distended. Now that may sound like a bad thing because distension is when our stomach fills up so we look a little bit fatter, look a little chubbier, but this is a good thing for people who are dieting especially because if your stomach is distended, you're activating one of the different mechanisms that makes us feel full and if you feel full, you'll be less likely to overeat. So there's no problem for our teeth, no problem for our stomach. Actually, sparkling water is good for us in terms of for dieting, trying to lose fat. 
So the really only other thing we can really ask is, will taking in this acidic liquid, this fizzy goodness, be bad for my heart in any way? And actually, the Journal of Nutrition released a study that was performed by Shoppin and Company that showed that actually adding salt or having a sodium-rich carbonated water or sodium-rich uh, sparkling water decreased the chances of developing cardiovascular diseases in 18 postmenopausal women. Now I know that 18 is a small number, and so you kind of have to take this, uh, this study with a grain of salt. Get it? Grain of salt, sodium, sparkling water. But uh, it does show that there could possibly be actually a beneficial way to drink sparkling water that helps us have less of a risk of developing cardiovascular diseases. So the overall answer to our question, is sparkling water safe? is yes. So if you're like me or like any of my friends that love drinking LaCroix, love drinking Perrier, anything sparkling and amazing like that, continue to do so because it can help you with your diet, it can help you with your heart health, and it has no negative effects on your teeth or any other part of your body whatsoever. This has been Joey Kane, Sub7Fitness.com. I hope that this video was really helpful for you. If you have any friends that love drinking sparkling water but they're afraid it might affect their health negatively, share this video out to them so they can know that the true way is the sparkling way. And as always, if you're looking for one of the absolute best fitness programs on the entire market, head over to sub7fitness.com and pick up one of our programs today. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.